cool little trick to get your kick sounding punchy without eating up all your headroom and yeah getting them to sound clear cutting through your mix cutting through your beat one simple plugin What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. So today's video, I'm going to show you how to get your kick sounding punchy, loud, using Logic Stop plugins. So if you're wondering why your kicks ain't punching or ain't hitting hard in your beats and your mixes, I'm going to give you a little tip so that you can use and get everything sounding loud, punchy, without eating up all your headroom on the main output. First, before we do that, I need to shout out my two new subscribers. Shout out K.Dot Kizzle and Tool Genius. Thank you both for hitting the subscribe button, I appreciate that. Hope you've hit the notification bell as well so you get notified for this video and future videos. My favourite comment for this week is coming from 161G. Thank you bro, appreciate your feedback. Like I'm always saying, here to help, so whatever I know and I feel that's going to help you, I'm going to put it out in a video. Now we've got all that out of the way, let's jump into this video. So to achieve loud punchy kicks without eating up all the headroom, we're going to use a plugin called the Bitcrusher, bring down the clip level and then boost the drive so it'll be a louder but the peaks won't be going above 10 dB. Or it won't start going wild and making your output sound distorted. What the bit crashes then is just chopping off the peaks of the kick, kind of rounding them off, but in a musical way, in a nice way, so it's not like digitally distorted, which sounds horrible to the air. It's doing it in a nice way. I'll show you how it works. So we've got, got this kick here. Peaking. 10.5 on the level meter uh, minus 10.4 on the channel. So then we open up the bit crush up with first of all we're gonna bring down the clip level to minus 10 and then we're gonna turn it on and then we're, we're, then we're gonna push the drive so I'm gonna drive some signal into it. If you notice the level meter, it's gone up a touch. Bring down the channel fader. So we've boosted it by 2.5. We can bring the, the fader down by 2.5. Uh, 2 dB. But if you notice, the level on the actual channel for the kick is not going to go above 10 because that's the threshold that we've set on the clip. So it's kind of like a limiter. So you can see the level meter has gone back down to 2.6 we pulled the fader down but it still sounds loud we turn off the bit crusher now so you can hear how crunchy it sounds it appears louder but the level meter is not saying that and that's exactly what we want so let's hear it with the beat playing Snares, wow. Little bonus trick for you. If, if there's a bit of MIDI that's too, it's getting on your nerves, the velocity is too high, highlight it, press Shift C, and it will, any other sound that's the same as it, same velocity, will be highlighted. Then you can press Control, Command, and change the velocity. Little bonus tip for you. So, Going back to the beat.
Oh, you can hear the punch. You can hear the the kick come through when the, the uh, when the bit cra crashes. What is wrong with me today? I can't talk. When the bit crash is not on, it's like, it feels like the kick's more rounded, like it's, yeah, just round instead of sharp and punching through. Yeah, that's a nice little trick. I like that. So that's a cool little trick to get your kick sounding punchy without eating up all your headroom and yeah, get them to sound clear cutting through your mix, cutting through your beat with one simple plugin. There's loads of other plugins out there that can do the same thing. I'm going to do a video sharing some third party plugins that you can do that with. There's T-Racks, there's a standard clip that I like, like to use a lot. There's loads out there. But for now, Logic Pro, Stove Pl Logic Pro Stop Plugin Bit Crusher. Slap that on your mix, on your beats, on your kick, get it sounding punchy. If there's any questions, hit me up on Insta. DMs are always open, always happy to help. Or drop a comment below. If this video has helped at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I put up a new video. As per usual, I appreciate your time.